you checking social media, doing promo codes, doing videos. I'm planning to have like a video, like one video a week um, for as long as I can. And so um, I, I just want to stay consistent in creating content and posting it um, every week. Minimum one videos a day. Or one video a day? <laughs> no, a week. Oh, thank you. That's a lot. Uh, I would have to find a lot of content. Okay. Just go on ChatGPT. The top five idea on how to keep my kitchen clean. And you see, they're going to start sharing with you tips. You see? And then mm -hmm. you can make a video. Hey, guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you the top five idea that to keep your kitchen clean throughout the entire years. First, mm -hmm. establish a daily cleaning routine. This could be wiping down your countertop and the appliance, sweeping the floor, empty the trash every day. So you see this chat GBT has come up with all the, yeah. you see, it's powerful, man. It's like, think of it as your assistant. You yeah. tell whatever it, it can research, it's going to go and research it for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was looking at, at blogs, um, but. So you can. Yeah. This one also be, uh, give, <laughs> give me the three, give me the three blogs that share the most viral tips on how to make my kitchen better on like the keyword and stuff. Browse the internet. Okay. So it's just the way you can put requests, you know? Mm -hmm. so give it a demand. What, what are you having in mind? Um, kitchen hacks. <clears throat> Give me top five kitchen hacks. There you go. Mm. Five kitchen hacks that you can apply today to keep your kitchen clean and amazing. You see? Mm-hmm. Just really all about content because some people may find this helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also you can reshare some of the viral video where like five, like five minute craft, something like that. Mm -hmm. But make sure you give credit to them. But I would say trying to be authentic, as authentic as possible on your own. And then you can do a reaction videos. Okay. okay. Like, wow, let me try it out. Stuff like that. Yeah. Anything about kitchen. So use your chat GPT, okay? Okay. This is how you can get more ideas mm -hmm. for your social media. Mm -hmm. And then after you build trust with the customer, you can also sliding in your products and other videos. But by now, you have built trust with your customer already. So when you recommend your products, they're more likely to make that purchase because for for sure you are offering something that work for people that love to spend time in the kitchen you're not like cheating or doing anything wrong to anyone and uh, at the same time you're helping someone you know mm -hmm. so you have any question so sign up for this chat.openai.com okay okay that's how you can level up man and then also another thing is you can ask Give me, give me seven day worth of content about kitchen hacks for my TikTok video under 60 seconds. Okay. Now I start writing for you. How to peel and slide. <laughs> yes, you can do that too. It's a little bit silly, but it's fine. The best way to chop onion. Just do what? You see? It's giving uh, you some of the best way for... Sometimes it doesn't need to be have to clean kitchen, but it can also be something that be useful in kitchen. Let's say how the best way to chop your onion. Mm -hmm. And then you can ask it, could you give me a script, a, six, a short... 60 minutes, 60 second v TikTok videos script for day one to day three. Yeah. 
is writing your script. And keep your video short, okay? Yeah. So that you increase the watch time. Probably like 45 seconds or less? The, yeah, the less the better, straight to the point. Okay. Yeah, but the video I just posted today, I uh, there's four clips, but the first three, I sped it up mm -hmm. just so that it was quicker. So it was under like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. But you can leverage chat GBT to write your script mm -hmm. so that you can start like having an assistant instead of you researching this one researching for you. Let's say, for example, how to peel and slide a mango in second. Hey, guys, today, so how to build and do you see how to peel and slide a mango in second? Boom. Hey, guys, today I'm going to be showing you a super easy and quick way to peel and slide a mango first. You want to find the stem and cut off each end of the manga, mango. So you can just film like the hands moving. So buy some equipment. And then next, use a class to hold a mango upright. Slide off the skin in a spiral motion. Slide the skin in a spiral motion to kind of showcase. Finally, use a spoon to scoop all of the flesh inside the skin. Scoop out the flesh inside the spoon. And that's it. Super quick and easy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button for more cooking and kitchen hack. You can also do cooking and kitchen hack too. Mm -hmm. kitchen kitchen hack and cooking because you love food i can see yeah yeah even your regular cooking day like hey mom what is your cooking today you can even film your mom document that fun lifestyle mm -hmm. so you can look back just enjoy the journey man you're already on it so may as well just enjoy the journey document your mom make your mom could be a startup co-founder marketer <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you can pay her <laughs> yeah that's gonna be a tax write-up because she she's in a part of your marketing team Mm, okay <laughs> right yeah you can start paying her too see the best way to chop an onion hey guy today i want to share with you the best way to chop an onion without crying yeah without crying yeah there you go now you have you have content for the next three days yeah within under five six seconds so make sure you ask them better question okay yeah yeah ask them in detail so that it can give you detail so now i just pick your phone up and film maybe get some tripod and you mm. get your mom involved get your sister involved mm. or just for fun you know the same mom if she's not doing anything just work her because that's when you guys can really bond even more mm. and then in the future let's say because right now your company already started making some money so when you start making additional money and then you want to write off taxes you can pay her as an employee eventually you can employ your whole family on marketing yeah <laughs> okay that's the beautiful thing about having a business mm 